Hey everyone, Sheila here from Life of Pets. So today I'm gonna to be doing the worst unboxing we have ever done. Before I get into the video, I just wanna tell you about a giveaway that is going on on Half Moon Aquatics channel. I'll also leave all the details down in the description box below. Go on over, check her channel out and see what she's doing. She's giving away some really cool stuff. Okay, let's get on with this terrible fish unboxing. So initially I was extremely excited about this unboxing. It is by far the largest quantity of fish we've ever had shipped to us. The actual shipping itself was excellent. We did one day shipping. There was a coal pack in the box with the fish and all the relevant information. But once we started actually looking at the fish, once we got them out, I could not believe how tiny some of them were and how extremely skinny they were as well. And the more we saw, started going through the bags, the worse it seemed to get. Now, as I said, this is the biggest shipment we've ever had. And in total, there should have been 36 fish, but it did become very evident quite quickly that there were some that had actually died in shipping. And overall, they did look okay. They did look uh, very lively in the bags. But then once we actually put them into the tanks, then that is when we started having problems with them. We did have two tanks ready to go to actually put these in. One of them was our 20 gallon long, the planted tank, there were no fish in there. And so we felt it was okay, obviously, to add in some fish because there were no other fish to be affected by these fish. And then we did move Jasmine out of the 10 gallon tank and we were then able to put the other fish in that tank as well. So after doing the unboxing, and starting to look at the fish in the bags and then we did the acclimation. We also did water acclimation as well because they had only shipped for a day so it was okay to actually do that and with this particular company that was one of the stipulations for a guarantee with them and so we did that and that was when we started noticing the issues with the fish so obviously i didn't film at that point this is several days later and boy have we been having problems with them within 24 hours we had lost several of them also we noticed that there was what looked like fungus on a lot of them and so it was just beginning to turn into a nightmare now this tank is one of our established tanks water parameters were absolutely wonderful thankfully we did not put them in with fish and that is definitely the most important thing when you're getting new fish you really must quarantine them you don't know where they're coming from the practices of the different companies. We have had a lot of fish shipped to us and we have never experienced anything like this at all. So this was a new one for us. These fish are now under treatment. We are still losing them at this point and I have contacted the company. And I have to say, I wasn't very impressed with what was said and just their whole attitude towards the fish. I definitely won't be buying from them again. So these are the Rummy Nose and Harlequin. To date, we have lost, I think it's about six of these and we've lost two of the Harlequin. One of these Harlequin, I think it was the bigger one right there. That one was, that one did have a lot of fungus on it, but it does seem to have cleared we are treating with general cure and erythromycin so they are sort of getting a double whammy of treatment and i'm really hoping that they stop dying but up to this point we have had them die for several days now so moving on to these fish i was extremely shocked by the size of these when they arrived some of them were probably about the size that you would see them in the pet store but some of them like this little guy here extremely thin extremely tiny and basically just not looking very healthy at all three of them arrived like that three of them arrived a little bigger we've already lost one and i am not very hopeful for these others but we are doing our best water parameters in the tank are great and we're just going to be doing a lot of water changes and we'll just see how things go i'm just looking for the synodontist that we've got in here i'll just go around the other side of the tank and see if i can see him 
so he's actually hiding in there i don't know whether you can really see him he i was extremely shocked by the size of him he was so so skinny and he is so so tiny not at all what was pictured on the website and these were bought from a reputable company with a good reputation but i have to say i am not impressed at all i would definitely not recommend them so it's a week later and things are still not going well i've actually just put another one of these on the glass so that uh, you can see these guys we have continued to lose fish and these are what we've got left I think we've still only lost one harlequin up to this point but we have lost quite a lot of the rummy nosed and it was due to the fungus we are still putting them through treatment still doing a lot of water changes and just really hoping that we can get them balanced so that we don't lose any more if you're wondering what this food is this is a great food for if you want to take a good look at your fish because obviously it does bring them to the front of the tank and they do really enjoy it it's actually called sierra o nip and we do sell it on our website so i will leave a link to it in the description box below so as for these in this tank they are doing really well i think i forgot to mention when i picked the camera up a few days ago that we also did get a, a denison barb and we had to put him in a container because he was basically bullying everyone in the tank he does seem to be okay there don't it doesn't seem to be any issues with him we did also get some bala sharks and again i don't think i mentioned those either we've got that one there and there is another one somewhere in here i don't see it right now oh it's down it's down here but there's another one just down there as well they both do seem to be doing okay treatment seems to have worked in this tank so there are no issues we have treated with general cure because i was getting concerned with the corys they're just not adding any weight at all they are still all alive which i guess is a good thing but you can see from this little one here so so skinny and extremely tiny the ones that were a bit bigger have actually got a little fatter but the the three smaller ones they're just not doing very well at all the bala sharks are doing great and also the denison barb he is doing fine as well the synodontist catfish basically lives under here so he never looks like he's moved but he is under here and he is doing okay bottom line is he is still alive which we're very very thankful for they do all eat like crazy so i will actually put some food in and we can maybe see if we can get him to come out and you can just watch the others in this tank actually feed so this little guy is going to get very big he is a synodontist decorus and we absolutely adore him we've actually called him tiny sid because he is so tiny the bala sharks obviously are not going to be staying in this tank none of these fish really can stay in this tank long term this is basically just to quarantine them with the corys we're going to grow them out some more because they are way too tiny to go in any of our other tanks the bala sharks they do need a very very large tank and because they do get very very big they can get 10 to 12 inches and even beyond that in some cases so these are in here just until we are satisfied that they are eating really well and that they can hold their own in the bigger tank and then the denison barb he will actually be going into the 75 as well to join the big group that we already have in there and so all these fish in this tank will eventually not be in here little synodontis he is actually going to be in here for quite a long time because we want to make sure that he is eating for Fully and can hold his own so it's going to be quite a while before he actually comes out of this tank but eventually once all these have been fully quarantined then they'll all be going into the tanks that we actually bought them for all right guys thanks for watching don't forget to go on over and check out half moon aquatics channel and the giveaway that she is doing she is giving away some really cool stuff so again i will leave those links in the description box below so you could go check that out all right guys thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and we'll see you next time